Hey art friends, to celebrate the new year, we thought it would be really fun to draw a cake with the numbers 2024 as candles on top. Yes. We hope you're gonna follow along. What do our art friends need for this lesson? Drawing supplies. Yeah, we're gonna use a pencil first and then our markers. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using our markers to draw and color with, we're also using our marker paper. This helps keep our markers lasting longer and it's also a lot more fun to draw on. Okay, let's first start with our pencil and we're gonna draw our guidelines. First, we're gonna draw a rectangle shape for our cake. So I'm gonna draw it really wide and kind of big to fill up the paper. The nice thing about using a pencil first is you can get the shape just the way you want it before we use our markers. Another thing you can also do is use the pencil for the entire lesson color in your drawing, and then use the black marker on top of the pencil when you're all finished coloring. Now let's draw or write the numbers 2024 20, on top. I'm first going to draw a guideline right in the middle of the rectangle shape. That's gonna help center the candles. Then we're gonna write the letter or the number zero. <laughs> and then I'm gonna write the number two, and then we also need another two on this side. I'm gonna go a little faster. And then we're gonna write the last number four. Can you believe it? 2024. No, I can't. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now let's switch to our eraser and we can erase that center line right down the middle before we switch to our marker. Now let's turn this into a cake. We're gonna use our black marker and let's first draw the plate that our cake is on. Let's make it thicker. I'm gonna draw two short lines down and then we'll connect those together. And then let's draw the bottom of the plate. I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines coming in. And then we'll connect those two lines also. I'm really excited for 2024 because we're going to do so many cool new art lessons. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the frosting down here at the bottom. I'm going to draw a bumpy line and some of the bumps will be small and some big. Almost looks like we're drawing a cloud too. Next, let's jump up to the top of our cake and draw the top straight across. Then we're gonna draw drips of frosting coming down. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna draw a big drip that comes out past the cake. And then I'm gonna draw big, really big drips. Some, some can come down further and some could be short and mix them up and change how big the drips are till we get all the way over to the other side. And then I'm gonna go outside the cake again and then connect to the top. Now let's switch to our eraser and erase the guideline that's inside of the frosting. Next, we can switch back to our marker and let's trace over the pencil line. Oh, we could have erased the guidelines down here in the frosting too, but we just wanna make sure that we don't go into the frosting. We'll stop above it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're ready to draw the candles. Let's draw bubble letters or bubble numbers around the guidelines. And we can just start with our marker, I'm gonna trace around the outside, but I'm gonna draw round so that they look like bubble letters. That almost looks like a Z. That's, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna trace around the zero, and I made my zero a little bit bigger so that it was closer to the two. And then don't forget to add another smaller circle inside of the zero. So it looks like a bubble letter yeah. or number. Then let's trace around the next number two. Big, round, curvy lines until we connect to where we started. Ah, oh, it's looking awesome, Austin. Good job. Now the last number Four. Then let's switch back to our eraser and erase the guidelines 
inside of the numbers. Some of our numbers are floating. We can connect them with a little line so it looks like it's stuck in with maybe a toothpick. Then let's add wicks to the top of our candles on each number. Then we can draw a raindrop line for the little fire on top of the candle. <laughs> awesome, we did it. We fit, well, we're not completely done. What are we missing? Funny face. <laughs> yeah, it's always our favorite to add a funny face, especially to food. All right, let's add, I'm gonna add a big smile right here. And uh, you could change your funny face. You don't have to draw it the same as same as me. <laughs> I'm gonna add teeth on the bottom and also the top and then also a tongue inside. Oh, and then I'm gonna make the mouth or color in the mouth so that it looks open. What are you adding? <laughs> yeah, fancy mustache, I like it. <laughs> then I'm gonna add cheek lines and oh, also a big circle for an eye on the left and also on the right. I'm gonna add a little highlight and then color in all those are. I like how small those are. <laughs> you, you can add them small if you want. Yeah. I'm gonna color in the eye, but leave the little highlight white. Now we're ready to color our drawings. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color yours. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our 2024 cakes. They look really cool, except let's add one more thing to our drawings. We're switching to our white colored pencil, Prisma color colored pencil, and we can add little highlights. Sometimes I like adding this to make our objects or our drawings look shiny. Yeah. We're gonna add this highlight on top. We colored our 2024 gold. And if you have the same Art for Kids Hub marker set that we are using, you can even use the same colors if you want to match. Yeah. Uh, for the 2024, we used two colors, 100, it's a gold color, and then I used 41 to add a little shading. Then for the pink, we used... 121. Yeah. And then we also used 66 blue, CG1 for the plate, and also... 35 yellow for the sparkles. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to add little shiny highlights on the frosting, just like you. And also we can add a little bit bigger highlight in the eyes. Oh, sometimes I like adding an extra highlight. And we can even switch to a light blue colored pencil to add a highlight on the very bottom of the eyes. This makes the eyes look really shiny. <laughs> now we're completely finished with our drawings. I especially love your little mustache, Austin. Thanks, I like yours too. Oh wait, you don't have a mustache. I don't have a mustache. <laughs> now you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You could also change the colors any way you want. Also remember, you can use different art supplies to color with. You can use crayons, colored pencils. Or even paint. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a 2024 cake with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. We also want to wish you a happy new year and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.